What's happening, Anoka? I'm Abby. And I'm Dara. Today is Wednesday, January 2nd. The curriculum exploration event, Decide Your Future, is coming back to Anoka. This new event will be held for current 8th through 11th grade students and parents and guardians from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Many class classroom sessions on various courses will be offered to help guide students with making purposeful choices for their 2019-2020 registration. Teachers will also be available for questions in the Media Center. Activity, activity buses will be available at 5.30 p.m. A mailing will be sent to each student and family with the sessions provided. We hope this helps you make some good choices for classes next year. Youth First will be starting again today after school in room S102 from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. There will be a mandatory speech meeting after school today. Plan to attend this meeting and for the meeting to go about 15 to 20 minutes. Practices will begin after that. Also, there will be no practices tomorrow because of the curriculum exploration event. As MORP approaches, Student Council is looking to see the talent held within the Anoka student body. Sign-ups will be available during lunches January 9th through the 11th. The winning acts will have the opportunity to perform at the MORP Pep Fest, display their talents to their peers. Good luck and have fun. There will be no Key Club meeting today after school. Join us next Wednesday at 2.30 in the SSRC. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast sponsored by 2018. See ya, would it wanna be ya? Thanks, Dara and Abby. We saw a bit of everything over the break from temps in the 40s to rain to snow to below zero overnight lows. After yesterday's short, cold snap, the temps will be making their way back to the high 30s and 40s by the end of the week. We are still in the deep freeze for the day with a high of 15 degrees, but temps will start to warm up again starting tomorrow with a high of 35. That's your weather. I'm Mia. Now back to you, Abby and Dara. Thanks, Mia. It's time for another 60-second book talk and check in with our resident bookworm, Marissa. Hello again, and welcome back to 60 Second Book Talk. The first book I will be talking about today is Violent Ends. This is an anthology, which means a bunch of different authors came together to write a single story. This one includes John David Hutch Hutchinson, Neil and Brendan Schusterman, and Hannah Moskowitz. They read the story of a boy named Kirby Matheson who became a school shooter. They, they tell a story from the perspective of a few of his classmates that show how this all came about. I loved the uniqueness of the story. Each chapter was individual with, with each author's own flavor and taste, which kept your interest through the entire story. I gave this book a four out of five stars for these reasons. The last book I will be reviewing today is History's All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. This story is about a boy named Griffin, whose ex-boyfriend, whom he still loves, dies unexpectedly and now he must deal with the grieving process while learning new things about this boy that grew apart from him. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars as well because it had so many surprising twists and drama that was so shocking at the time but entirely interesting. I'd recommend both these books to anyone that would like to read a book about people learning to live in a world they feel they don't have that much control over. I'm Marissa, and I'll see you next week for another 60-second book talk. Thanks, Marissa. It's time to take a look at sports and activities. And with that, here's Sam. Thanks, Dara. Welcome back, everyone. The boys' basketball team had a big win before the break against Andover and now set their sights on St. Paul Homebolt at home tomorrow night. Varsity hits the floor at 7 p.m. The girls' basketball team gets back in action tonight against St. Francis at home. The girls are working hard and looking for their first win of the season. Good luck tonight, ladies. Girls hockey played four games over the break and went unbeaten with a record of 2-0-2. With the recent tie last Saturday to White Bear Lake, they are off until Saturday when they meet Rogers on the road. The boys hockey team is coming off a tough loss to Century to 5-1 and will gear up tomorrow for a tough road game to the rival Blaine Bengals at Forgety Arena. That's your look at sports and activities. I'm Sam from the Sports Deck. Now back to Abby and Dara. Thanks, Sam. Remember, if you missed anything on the news or are absent for a day, you can find us at Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube. Also, for early lunch updates, you can follow us on Twitter at Anoka TV News. Before we go, it's time for the fun fact of the day brought to you by Winter Break. I didn't appreciate you like I should have. 
come back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the average lifespan of a Major League Baseball is seven pitches? And since it takes every pitcher 40 seconds to make a pitch, the average fan attention is two pitches. Great point. Today's lunch is chicken or cheese quesadilla. That's the news. I'm Dara. And I'm Abby. Welcome back, Anoko. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about.